Hello everyone, this is Reza from Radacad and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can get the image part of a uh, uh, web uh, page into Power BI or into Power Query, the URL of the image. Let's check it out. Uh, previously in another uh, blog article I have written about how you can get the image URL or even the link URL I explained the method that you right click on these images go and inspect the HTML uh, code for that but that was uh, let's say more a uh, techy way of doing it uh, if you are interested the links of that is down in the description below uh, but right now in this video I'm going to show you a very easy way of doing it without looking at the code or anything like that very simple um, I can use this uh, URL in Power BI desktop using get data from web pasting the URL clicking on OK when you uh, get data from a web page the power query part of Power BI this navigator window will scan the page and find all HTML tables inside that web page because every page is a html code and it might have different tables you see these tables uh, here right these are a uh, list of suggested tables html tables coming from uh, from that web page right most of the time these tables doesn't have the image url or a web link url or anything like that but there is another part here in this page add table using example if i use that part uh, this gives me the ability to give a couple of examples to um, to Power Query uh, values that I want, and based on those, it, uh, Power Query will go and find the structure in uh, in that HTML table, uh, HTML page that includes those. Very useful for scenarios that your data is not in a table. For example, uh, if I get the table, I can get it normally in uh, suggested HTML tables, but what if I want to get this part of the page, like list of all genres? I can enter a couple of those, like action is one of the genres, and the second one usually you need to enter two is adventure. And when I enter these two, when I press enter, it fills the rest. You see, these are all those values, right? So usually a good way to find this location, the structure that these two coming from, and then extend it for the rest of those values and getting that, right? Uh, usually it's good for that. But right now, in this example, I'm going to show you how we can use this also for the image URL. So I'm canceling that, going back to add, to add table using example again. Uh, this time I'm going to use the image URL. So similar to that, you need uh, a couple of uh, image URLs, the first two image URLs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going here, right click on the image. If you use uh, Google Chrome, Chrome has this option to right click and say copy image address. Some other uh, browsers have this uh, with different names, some others you have to find it different places, but for Chrome it's really easy. So copy image address, then I come here, paste, so that's one value. Similar to that, I do it one more time, copy image address, uh, sorry, not link address, copy image address, and then paste it again. And that, well, that will give me the second. And as you see, this fills the rest, right? These are all image URLs. So very simple, very useful, very efficient, right? I can also call this image URL. Um, and I can uh, add another column here just to show some of the movies information. Like for example, I can add one, which is one, the Shawshank Redemption. For example, I'll do this for a couple of movies to The Godfather. And this should fill for the rest. Sometimes you don't see the details, but if you click on OK and uh, in Power Query Editor, if you say Transform Data, you would see the details when it uh, comes into Power Query. 
So here it is, it comes to Power Query. I can also call this column something else, movies. At the moment, uh, this is not the important part of it. We can uh, focus on the image URL. So I got the image URL, I can say close and apply. This will load into Power BI. And then I can show it in a visualization. The main part of this example was to get the image URL. Showing it in a visualization is uh, very simple. Uh, for that, you need to make the image URL in the column tools, the data category of that to be uh, an image URL. And then if you visualize it in a table visual, you see that this comes as those image URLs. Uh, now, this method usually works for simple scenarios, but sometimes your uh, HTML code is uh, so complex or you might have uh, those values multiple places, like if you have this image URL here, image URL, uh, this image URL also somewhere else, exactly the same URL. Um, the first couple of examples might not be enough for Power Query to fetch that information. So um, the other method that I explained in my other blog article that goes and look at the exact HTML structure of that page and you can scan that details yourself and it's more, let's say, reliable way of doing it. However, this method that I showed you still can be good and fast way of doing it and most of the time you can get it working. So here you go, that's how you get the image URL of a web page using Power Query in Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.